ตอบได้ยกมือค่ะ That is ยอด expensive ครับ expensive โอเคครับ Very good remember the pronunciation expensive so x x okay very good good job let's keep going the children are happy <laughs> all right so in this sentence what would be the adjective one more volunteer the children are happy which word is an adjective raise your hand good Happy. Very good. Happy. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. The pasta going. is delicious. And last, we have the pasta is delicious. The pasta is delicious. One more student. Delicious. Good. Good. But let's say it again. Okay. Delicious. 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 Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay. So now let's just watch the rest of the video. Thank you, guys. They live in a big blue house. My new boots are tall and red. Look at the picture and unscramble the words to make a sentence. Say or write the sentence. For example, the apple is red. Now you try. All right, so guys, we understand what adjectives are. You did very great. Now we're going to work on sentence structure. So these words are in the wrong order. I want you to choose the correct order and raise your hand. Who can tell me the correct order for these words? Hungry, the are cats. What should be the first word? Who can help the teacher? Uh, teacher's A, can you help me select someone? Hungry, the are cats. Uh, hungry, the are cats. ก็คือมันเรียงมันมันไม่ได้เรียงประโยคอยู่ถูกไหมมันไม่ได้เรียงอยู่ถูกไหมให้เรียนเรียงประโยคให้เป็นประโยคที่ถูกต้องแล้วเรียนคิดว่ามันต้องกลายเป็นเป็นประโยคแบบไหนคะเป็นคําว่าอะไรขึ้นต้นใครตอบได้ยกมือลูกอ่ะยอดยอดยกมือค่ะอ่ะยอดตอบ the cats are hungry wonderful the cats are hungry very good pronunciation okay All right, so we understand it. Let's go to the next. All right, so here we have house small live in a we. Who wants to try this one? Remember, we're putting the words in the right positions to correct the sentence. Another volunteer. Thank you, Tia. House small live in a we. What should be the first word? So I'll help you out. We'll start with this. So we will be first. So Thank you. We live in a small house. Very good. But let's say this word together. Live. 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 Thank you so much. We live in a small house. Good job. Let's do one more. Okay, so they car have an expensive. One last volunteer. Who can help us with this one? They car have an expensive. T 
CA, can you unshoe someone? Uh, they are. Teacher, huh? my name is Teacher Tangwa. Uh, please call me Teacher Tangwa, na ka. Thank you. Okay, Teacher Bangwa. Thank you. Uh, na le ka. Payok ni nu. Nu le ang payok. Hi, Teacher. Na ka. They are hot and expensive. แสดงประโยชน์ได้ยังไงอะไรเป็นประธานของประโยคคะอะไรคือ subject ของประโยคลูกดูสิ They have an expensive so I'll help you the first one will be they the first word will be they ใครได้ยอดได้ไหมลูก It's a little bit hard thank you ยอดโอเคยอดตอบได้เลยค่ะ They have an expensive car. Very good, but let's say the last word again, okay? Expensive, expensive. Expensive. Good, good try, okay? So they have an expensive car. Very good. All right. So let's just watch the rest of the video. Thank you guys for participating. Let's keep going. Is the delicious cookie? Is the delicious cookie? Very good. The cookie is delicious. The cookie is delicious. I sunset a beautiful sea. I sunset a beautiful sea. I see a beautiful sunset. Thanks for watching. All right, great work, guys. Thank you, guys, for participating. Let's go on to our next clip. ESL Library. All right, so now we're going to compare adjectives. We are going to measure them against something else. Okay, so let's focus on the vocabulary for this. ESL Library. Comparative adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe nouns. Adjectives can give us information such as the size or age of a noun. Adjectives can also tell us someone's opinion about a noun or describe how someone is feeling. We use comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. Comparative adjectives tell us how one noun is different from the other. For example, she is taller than him. This painting is more beautiful than that painting. My brother looks happier than my sister. How are comparative adjectives formed in English? It depends on how many syllables the adjective has. For one-syllable adjectives, we add er to the adjective. For example, short becomes shorter. If the adjective ends in a consonant-vowel-consonant pattern, we double the final consonant before adding er. For example, big becomes bigger. For two-syllable adjectives that end in y, we change y to i and add er. For example, hungry becomes hungrier, and noisy becomes noisier. For adjectives that are two syllables or more, we use the word more before the adjective. For example, modern becomes more modern, and expensive becomes more expensive. All right, so this is a very good point right here. I want you guys to take a look at it. So syllables are the breaking points in words, okay? Now, if the word only has one syllable, meaning no breaking points, we simply add ER, okay? Unless it's a special word, we add another letter at the end. So I want you guys to really remember, if you could take a screenshot of this, this would be very good to help you out understanding 
when to use IER or just ER, okay? Or to use more. If it has two syllables ending in a Y, the Y changes to I, then we add ER. Examples are here. And then some terms we just add more to it, okay? So let's keep going. Some comparative adjectives in English don't follow the usual rules. For example, the adjective good becomes better in the comparative form, bad becomes worse, and far becomes farther or further. All right, now there are some words that don't fall into the system of adding ER, IER, or more, okay? So some words like good becomes better. We don't say gooder. So there's no ER, we don't say badder, we say worse. We don't say farer, we say farther or further. Okay, so these are exceptions to the rules that we just saw. The most common sentence pattern for comparative adjectives in English is subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus object. Let's look at some examples of comparative adjectives in a sentence. The blue house is bigger than the yellow house. Okay, so in this sentence, um, let me say your name correctly. Uh, Tangwa, Ms. Tangwa, yes. thank you. Yes. All right, so I want the student to help me find the comparative adjective. ESL things. Let me get back there. Adjectives. Adjectives for the adjective form. Plus in a sentence. Okay. So I want them to choose which word is the comparative adjective. Okay. okay. In this case, the blue house is bigger than the yellow house. What is the comparative adjective? Who can answer? Who can Bigger. Thank you. Wonderful. So the blue house is bigger than the yellow house. The comparative adjective is bigger. Thank you so much. Okay, let's keep going. Rock music is better than classical music. Okay, let's go again. Rock music is better than classical music. What word is the comparative adjective, please? Anybody? Go ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. Better. Better. Good pronunciation. So better, better, better. Better. Thank you. That was perfect. Thank you so much. All right. Let's keep going. Let's do one more. My dog is lazier than my cat. Okay. Who can help us with this one? My dog is lazier than my cat. May? Lazier. Good, good. But let's say it together, okay? Lazier. 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 Good. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. All right. Now let's just listen to the rest of the video, guys. You're doing great. The singer is more famous than the actor. My boots are more expensive than your shoes. More expensive? Look at the adjective. Say or write the comparative adjective. For example, tall. Okay, so what does tall become here? Remember the first rule, we can add ER. Well, let me write it over here. Let me turn this screen off. So we have the options of either adding ER, IER, or more. All right, so I need someone to help me, okay? So what do we add here for tall to make it a comparative adjective? Who can raise their hand? Tall is a normal adjective. Thank you, Swani, Sutani, okay? Uh E R. I. 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 I
Paula. Good. So there's, yeah, just E-R, no I-E-R, because there's no Y. So we just add E-R, taller, okay? Taller. Very good. So, uh, so what's now you try. Stay here and try the next one, okay? The same student. All right, so the same student who just tried, I want you to try again. This word is careful. What do we put here? Yadha. Yadha. More careful. Thank you so much. More careful. Wonderful. Awesome, you guys got it. Let's do one more. All right, so we have good. Remember, we have exceptions where the word changes. Some words we cannot use with the system. So who can help us? What does good become? Good, good. The word so it's not ER, it's not IER, it's not more. Better, thank you so much. Good job, guys. Let's just watch the rest. The I changes to Y. Noisier. More, more dangerous. The word changes completely to worse, bad to worse. Thanks for watching. All right, amazing job, guys. Thank you so much. Let's go on to number four. All right, and we're going to do one more quick video about comparatives. Hello, welcome to Help. Helpful English Learning Place. The channel for all your English learning needs. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Today's video, comparative adjectives big bigger than old bob is old tom is older than bob old older than Young. Jane is young. Tim is younger than Jane. Young, younger than. Slow. The tortoise is slow. The snail is slower than the tortoise. Slow, slower than. Fast. Lee is fast. Carl is faster than Lee. Fast, faster than. Tall. An ostrich is tall. An elephant 
is taller than an ostrich. Tall, taller than. Long. The lizard is long. The snake is longer than the lizard. Long, longer than. Short. Face her is short. Emma's her is shorter than face her. Short, shorter than. Strong. Brad is strong. Max is stronger than Brad. Strong, stronger than. All right, so let's stop right here. I think you guys have a good understanding on how to use ER. Just remember, if there's a Y at the end, it changes to IER. And some words we have to use the word more as a conjunction, or we change the word completely like good to better and bad to worse. Okay, so let's go to the next portion here. All right, uh, how to use as, okay? So now we're gonna focus on working with as with comparisons. So watch carefully as we go through the video. Unlimited English classes. The Acquire English Club. Go to aenglish.club. Talk to you soon. Acquire Grammar. In this lesson, we're going to have a look at how to use as as for comparisons. Let's look at this example. The Eiffel Tower is tall. It is taller than the Statue of Liberty. However, it is not as tall as the Burj Khalifa. Here's another example. This house is expensive. It is more expensive than this car. However, it is not as expensive as this jet. All right, so it can be used in a positive or a negative. In this situation here, not is making it a negative. So remember, as is used in comparison. This house is not as expensive as the jet. But if there are two houses for the same price, we can make it a positive and say, this house is as expensive as the other house. So uh, Tang, Ms. Tangwa, can you explain to the students how to use as? Okay, ha. Okay, ha. Uh, as. As as นะคะก็คือการเปรียบเทียบ adjective นะคะที่มันมีความหมายเหมือนกันนะคะโดย as as เนี่ยมันจะอยู่ as ตัวแรกเนี่ยเออเขาเรียกว่าอะไร as as ระหว่าง as กับ as เนี่ยมันจะเป็นคํา adjective ที่เป็นในรูปของ normal adjective ก็คือเป็น adjective ปกตินะคะลูกแล้วก็เวลาใช้มันก็อยู่ข้างหลัง verb to be ในกรณีที่มันไม่เท่ากันเราจะเอา verb to be ก็คือเอาเป็นรูปประโยคปฏิเสธเป็น not เข้ามาเติมเข้ามาช่วยนะคะแต่ถ้ามันเป็นรูปบอกเล่าปกติเนี่ยก็คืออย่างเช่นเออที่เชยยกตัวอย่างอะไรดีอะอย่างเมื่อกี้ลดราคาแพงเท่ากันถ้าราคาแพงเท่ากันเนี่ยก็คือ is 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 as expensive as อะไรก็ว่าไปใช่ไหมคะแต่ถ้ามันไม่เท่ากันก็จะเป็นเติม not ลงไปข้างหลัง verb to be ก็คือกลายเป็นไม่เท่ากันรูป adjective ยังคงรูปปกติ
ข้าใจไหมคะอันนี้อันนี้เด็กเข้าใจไหมลูกเข้าใจไหมใครเข้าใจเปิดไมค์บอกทีเชิญเลยค่ะเข้าใจไหมคะ Alright so much okay so it can be used in a negative way or it can be positive okay so this one right here would be negative when we say not so this square let's put an arrow here so this square is not as big as the other square this is the negative usage of it over here we're using it in a positive way this square is as big as the other one so it can be positive or negative depending on using not okay miss tangwa do they understand Yes, they understand. Thank you so much, teacher. All right, thank you, guys. All right, let's keep going. Let's go back over here. Now you try. See if you can come up with the answer. Ben is tall. Bryce is taller. Ben isn't as tall as Bryce. Donald has a lot of money. Jeff has more money. Donald doesn't have as much money as Jeff. All right, so I think you guys get the gist. Now let's jump over to our worksheet. So everybody take out your worksheets, please, so we can start focusing on this. All right. Okay, and now we're going to start working on filling in lists. All right, so everybody, when you're there, thumbs up. And repeat after the teacher, okay? So I'm going to say these words. Dolphin. Dolphin. Hippo. <coughs> lizard. Dog. Sloth. Snake. Frog. Crocodile. Butterfly. And horse. Okay? So we're gonna be filling in these words depending on the category, okay? So let's start with uh, powerful. Which one of these animals is very powerful? Who can help me? Which one of these animals is powerful? Volunteer? Which animal is powerful? เด็กๆดูหน้าจอนะคะเด็กๆดูหน้าจอนะคะเพาเวอร์ฟูลเห็นมั้ยคะกรอบสีน้ำเงินตรงกลางเพาเวอร์ฟูลนักเรียนดู
What else will be colorful? Okay, so I'll help you. I think sometimes frogs can be colorful, okay? So let's get these lines out of here. So there's no more frog. There's no more butterfly, okay? So let's go down a little bit. Let's, let me erase this here. And we're gonna move down a little bit so you guys can see. We have dangerous, okay? So down here we have dangerous. What animals are dangerous? Which ones would be dangerous right here? Crocodile. 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 Very good. So put over here, croc. All right. Anything else would be dangerous? That's it. One more. What else is dangerous? All right, we'll put snake. Very we good. Okay. Now let's put a black line there. You guys are doing amazing. So we have no snake. We have no frog. We have crocodiles gone. Butterflies gone. Horse is gone. Okay. And let's go with talented. Which animals are very smart? Very, very smart. Which ones are very smart? Talented. Dolphin. Dolphin. Thank you. You are absolutely correct. Dolphins are very smart. What else? What other animals are smart? Dog. Dogs, very good. Dogs can do so many things in helping people. All right, so we got the gist of it. Let me go ahead and show you the answer sheet so you guys can fill it in in your book. All right, so guys, we can see it here. I want you to fill in the answers here, okay? Let me erase this. So in your book, I want you to fill in the answers. We have butterfly and frog for colorful. Powerful, we have hippo and horse. Talented, we have dog and dolphin. Dangerous, we have snake and crocodile. And for unusual, we have lizard and sloth. Make sure you guys write it in your books, okay? And then we're gonna keep going. Give you guys one minute. Thank you. All right, so let's keep going on down. So we're going to keep sliding down and let's go down here. Now we're going to talk about amazing animals, okay? Now I'll be very happy if someone can tell me what's this animal here? What do we call this animal? Let me put a pointer here so you guys can see it. All right, what is this animal called here? Who can tell me? Good. What about this one up here? Hippo. Hippo. What about this one right here? Dolphin. Excellent. What about down here? Frog. 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 Over here? Butterfly. Good. Butterfly. Down here? The snake. 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 And last, what about this one? Sloth. Good. Sloth. Sloth. Okay. Very good. Okay. So let's scroll down. Okay, and let's do some reading. Now, Sutani, can you read this sentence here? Snakes are? Snakes are more dangerous than frogs. Good. Hippos are more powerful than dogs. Very good. Remember, dangerous. 
dangerous, okay? Dangerous. Thank you, okay? Now let's go to some reading. We're gonna talk about performers in the circus, a walk on a wire, okay? So the teacher is going to read and I want you guys to listen, okay? Ms. Tangwa, can you tell them to listen carefully? Thank you. A lot of people perform in circuses around the world. You can see many different types of clowns, acrobats, and jugglers. But most of them are not as famous as Nick Walladon. He is part of the famous family, the Flying Wallandaws. The Flying Wallandaws sometimes perform as humid pyramid and walk across a tight rope without a net underneath them. All right, so this is a picture of a family of performers in the circus. And they are famous for two things. They are famous for walking on a tight rope and for making a human pyramid. Okay, so let's go forward and learn more about this family. All right, now let's zoom in and Sutani or a volunteer, who wants to read the first part? Who wants to read this sentence? Volunteer? Now, Nick? Now, Nick, what is that? Also, perform perform at Nick under him. He performs. He performs. He's amazing. Amazing. Stand for many people all over the world. Thank you so much. Very good reading. Okay. But I want you to remember your S's, S, 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 okay? So let's say performs. Performs. Stunts. 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 Very good, okay? So I'll read the next one. So I want everybody to listen carefully, okay? Nick is the only Rolada family member who is still performing today. His nickname is the King of the Wire. He was the first person to walk on the tightrope over Niagara Falls in Canada. He was also the first person to walk on a tightrope across the Grand Canyon in Arizona. All right, so I need a volunteer reader for down here. Who wants to volunteer? <laughs> Well, Linda, who wants to practice reading? Yard, I may have no yard. I have, okay, I have. Well, has this performing on the world. But you, he is 50 years old. He has made friends and is the most fun famous in the teen rope tight rope tight rope walk is the world okay very good okay very good reading so repeat after me practices 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 Good. Continue. 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 
You continue. continue. Good. Around. 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 Good. Around. Many. 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 Good. Most. Oh, most. 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 Famous. 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 Tight rope. Tight. Tight. Tight rope. Tight rope. In. In. Very good. Thank you guys so much for reading with the teacher. Very good. Let's scroll down here. Now we are going to fill in the blanks. We have dangerous, talented, beautiful, intelligent, and colorful. We're focusing on syllables. Syllables are the breakpoints in words, okay? So I'm gonna help you with the first one. The first word has two breakpoints, two breakpoints, so three syllables. So let's count the spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so could it be dangerous? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So dangerous. Okay, so let's put it here. Dang. Er, Russ. All right, I'm so sorry. So make sure you guys have this in your book. All right, and I'm going to show you the rest of the answers so you can fill it in. So let's get it over here. Okay, it could be beautiful or dangerous. So let's erase this and let's make this bigger. So guys, I want you to fill this in in your book. Uh, Ms. Tangwa, can you tell them to fill it in? We have beautiful for number one, dangerous for number two, intelligent for number three, and colorful for number four, and talented number five. Okay, ตอนนี้เอ่อสิบโมงยี่สิบแล้วยี่สิบเอ็ดแล้วเกินมาหนึ่งนาทีแล้วรีบๆทำเลยนะคะโอเคโอฟิเชอร์ค่ะ it's time us already yes I know yeah. that's why I wanted them to copy okay All right, so guys, thank you so much for being a wonderful class. Thank you, Ms. Tangwa, for helping me. Thank you for being brave to practice. Make sure you write the answers down, and I will see you next time. Very good work. Thank you, guys. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, guys. Very good work. Thank you, ma'am. 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 Thank you,